And so this is a game called Esprade, or Esprayed, whichever way you want to call it. I'm not really sure if there's an actual way to call it anything. But it is another shoot 'em up game by Cave, and it's a older one. But it also spawned the Escaluda series, which there's Escaluda 1 and 2. And I already have videos of Escaluda on my channel. So you can click on an annotation right here to go to that if you want to check that out. But anyways, um, unlike most shoot 'em up games, you actually play as a person in this and not a ship. And you've got the different kind of shots as usual. You know, you've got the like spread out shot, you've got the kind of like whenever you move your body shot thing that happens, you know. So, as usual, I also like the guy with the guy that usually straight, uh, shoots straight forward. But the difference in this game is that you have a secondary attack like this, which is dependent on how much of these certain types of points you have, which you'll see later on. And then you've got a bomb, and the thing about that bomb is, is you can hold down the button and you're invincible during the duration of it, but then you get less actual bombs to use later on. So that's kind of like a, you know, strategy you can use there if you're using bombs. As usual, I'm also going to try to not use bombs that much in this, so we'll see how this goes. But um, the P things are power-ups, that's not three power-ups. You actually need multiple of those to power up. And you see that little diagram down there on the bottom that says seven? That's how many little orange orb things I shoot out. And so as you go up in power, that amount that you can shoot out goes up. And the thing about this game is, is whenever you're hitting, if I remember right, whenever you're hitting things with those orange orbs, they kind of take a minute to uh, go away. Like you can see they kind of sit there for just a little bit. However many of those are still currently exploding on the enemy is what multiplier you get. And that's how I've always understood it. People watching this, feel free to correct me if that is wrong, but that's always what I've thought it to be. And then of course your multiplier for the next few enemies goes up. So the whole premise of this game is that you are psychic and you're using ESP powers, hence the name Esradi, to do all this shit. And you're fighting against the whole, you know, bunch of psychic warriors. It's like in games like this, storyline generally isn't the biggest concern. So, you know, yeah. And much like uh, other shoot 'em up games, if you hold down the fire button, you move slower, which is good to use precision dodging. So, yeah. This game also has uh, quote unquote voice acting. Yeah. Um, when you get up to full power, the icons you get are these little orange things. And once you get up to, I believe it's 200 of them, if you have, uh, if you have any of your bomb used up, all the enemies will put out bomb refuel icons, but only for the duration of the time that the 200 icons last, which is maybe about four or five seconds, and then you're back down to nothing. Now I'm not sure if those icons do directly influence your multiplier, they probably do because in future Escaluda games they do. They're different colored icons and they're a different look, but they're basically the same thing. So <clears throat> feel free to tell me that in the chat too, but or in the fucking comments also. This isn't live stream, so. So here's the first boss, and he's pretty easy. Now something interesting to note about this game too is, is depending on what one of the three characters you pick, you actually play through the stages in the game in a different order. And the bosses at the end of each stage are powered up differently depending on what stage you play them on. So if I were to pick one of the other characters and I got this guy on stage uh, three, for instance, he'd have two more life bars and he'd be more significantly powered up. He'd be shooting out way more bullets. He'd have different attacks, stuff like that. So if you do have trouble on a certain boss, you may want to try playing with a different character because then you know, they may be lesser or more stronger powered up. So. That's also something to take into account. Um, and as usual, I'm also doing this game with live commentary, meaning that I am playing this and commentating at the same time. So see, notice I got times 14 there because I uh, had 14 of those going off. The maximum multiplier is 16, which is when you hit him with everything and then you get 16. Even though you can only shoot out 15, so I don't really get how that works. Maybe there's no 15, there's only 14 to 16. I don't really know how that works. But, um, yeah. 